Darren and Anita on Grand Strand. A music evolution. Now, Darren and Anita with your Grand Strand Artist Spotlight. Darren and Anita on Grand Strand. Welcome back from a commercial break, folks. And it is time for that spotlight interview segment we have in the show. We told you last week in the beginning of the show today, on the line with me from the Summer Days Band is Mitch Simpson. Mitch, how are you, man? Man, I am doing great, Darren. I hope you and Anita are doing the same. We're doing well. Anita couldn't make it in this week. You know, several interviews. We've had her on the Skype thing. We're trying to get this technology thing worked out. So uh, hopefully we'll see you guys soon, though, uh, up close and personal and see a show. But, uh, sure. But, Mitch, I'm telling you what, Summer Days Band, you guys are kicking some butt since you've been out. I mean, Dixie Hummingbird, the first song there, Buick 59, Someone's Gonna Fall in Love, Foolish Heart, and Cassie Kessler singing on those two songs. Man, I sort of feel like it's a bluesy with your voice and an AC feel kind of thing. You guys got a lot going on there. You know, the, uh, I always tell folks I'm very fortunate to have uh, all six of us sing lead and not uh, any of us sound the same. So uh, that you have one extreme to the other. Of course, probably Cassie's uh, and Adam's are the most recognizable voices because they've done most of the singing. You know, this CD coming up, it's got all six of us singing on it there. Who else makes up the Summer Days Band? Who's all in the group? Uh, of course, I mentioned Adam Rouse, who plays sax and guitar. Uh, Adam sings two or three songs on this. Sean Kwan, uh, bass guitar and vocals. My drummer, Ted Matthews, of course, uh, does lead on one of these vocals. Everybody knows Cassie. Cassie Kessler uh, plays a little percussion and sings lead. James Jones, gosh, this guy's a monster. He plays uh, guitar, plays sax, plays flute, keys, mandolin, and sings. And, of course, uh, yours truly, Mitch Simpson, and play keys and uh, sing. And I play drums, but never on stage. No drums on stage. You don't bang on those skins? You know what? I've been threatening them because the drums was my first instrument years ago. And I've been threatening uh, in fact. Probably uh, the song that Ted Matthews, a drummer, sings lead on uh, here. I probably need to send him out front. And I need to step back there and play drums. So they're, they're not going to tell me no. I want the band. What are they going to say there? <laughs> hey, that, that, that's true. That would be a good change out in a way when he would stop and you'd go in and, and sit down and do that. I could see that playing out actually on stage. <laughs> yeah. Well, I tell you what, the new album is out. Uh, it's called Keep On Moving, Something Fried, produced by Freddie Tripp. We're going to talk about that coming up here in a few minutes. But to give some folks a background on you, you're an East Coast Rivieras man. Back in the day of Donna, night and day, something special, that Carolina lady. Uh, you, you've been been in this for quite a while. Darren, I, I always say I've, I've flown in the radar. Uh, we had ECR for almost, uh, let's just go and round it off at nine years. We never recorded anyone else's stuff. We always recorded our right. own. Uh, somebody in the band would write it. Right. Uh, had a good run. You know, had a good run with that band. Loved it. Still love the members that are surviving. Uh, in fact, uh, on this CD, uh, one of the ECR tunes that was the most special to me, we redid. Goodbye to Love by my former lead singer, Ted Tedesco, who's up in Philly now. Right. Uh, we just had a great time with that band, and I got out for a few years, finished my career in law enforcement. Most people know I was a, I'm a 30-year veteran, uh, a police officer, and then uh, kind of got back in it just just wide open in 2005, and I haven't slowed down since. An incredible job since you got back in it. And here's the thing, since you were in law enforcement, so that means when I'm in trouble in this area, I can call you now? You know what I always tell folks, is, look here folks, if I get stopped on the way home, if I'm tired and I'm pulling the truck, I'm kind of weaving, I always tell them my get out of jail free card is expired, so you own your own. Oh, no, oh, so I'm on my own, man. come on, I was hoping I tell, for I tell my wife that, so honey, you're on your own. <laughs> I love it, man. I tell you, well, you know, with the East Coast Riviera, hits like Donna, man, was incredible, because we still do that in the show in a in a flashback rotation, we'll, we'll do a lot of stuff like that. Well, talking about the Summer Days Band, getting back to that keep on moving's the new album you guys just had a cd release party i believe down at the spanish galleon in north myrtle beach we did this past friday night i don't think it could have been any colder uh, especially at myrtle beach but had a cd release party during their dj throwdown weekend i got to meet a lot of djs that have i've, I've talked to on facebook and uh, email for years so i got the chance to meet a lot of them and, and a lot of folks that we hadn't met yet and uh, we're just so glad that we we're able to do that. KHP uh, did such a good job of putting that thing on. And I wish we could have said we enjoyed the beach the next day. We had to get up at 8 a.m. and get to Hickory six hours later for oh, another wow. show. So you, it you, was good. you got to love the entertainment business, man. Always on the road kind of thing. 
really on this album, Something Fried is the song that's being worked right now by most radio markets and the DJs, but you telling me they're off the air, there was really something on this album for everyone. Yeah, I, I, I say that there is, uh, Darren. We have tried not to follow anyone right. uh, or anything they're doing. Uh, I have been fortunate enough to have uh, good advisors, and one particular good advisor, and he's been in the business for years, Mitch Harb out of Lexington, oh, North sure. Carolina. I asked him one day, I said, Mitch, I said, I said, well, I'm getting ready to do this project. Give me some of your ideas. What do you think? He, he shot five songs at me. Those five are here on this CD. Wow. <laughs> and you know something, Five was the first one. Uh, actually gave me choices. He said, what do you think about these? He said, Shaggers love these. Because I told him, I said, I want to do something for the Shaggers. Uh, I don't necessarily want to, you know, just, just be in that rut, but... Uh, I think he he's the one that hit the hit the home run. Run with and, it. Uh, we just followed his advice. Yeah, Mitch been in the business a long time. You know, I can remember going out to uh, I believe it was called Rascals in the Holiday Inn Salisbury. Mitch used to play out there. Some uh, DJ and an incredible guy. <laughs> Wow, you know what? That shows your age. I'm not that old. <laughs> oh, there you go, man. Hey, and, and then the next thing with this album, too, how you get Freddie Tripp uh, with the Shakers and Embers and, and and how you get him to produce that thing? I'm telling you. You know, Freddie and I, uh, I met him years ago when ECR did a show with Fantastic Shakers at the fairgrounds. Mike Branch uh, did it years ago. And I kind of re-met him again when I moved to uh, Charlotte. And when I retired, became... Just the best lunch buddies that wow. there is. You know, if you look at Freddie or either one, you know we love to eat. <laughs> one thing led to another, of course, and I've always had a, a lot of respect for, for Freddie and his ability to uh, produce and, and uh, oh, yeah. his ear, you know, was able to convince him to produce this thing for me, and I think he did a great job. I really do. It does. What, what I've heard from the album so far, uh, uh, incredible job that he did on there. Mitch, let's tell them, where can they find out about Summer Days Band, where you guys are playing out, how to get the music, and just more about the band? Well, uh, I think it's by Beast Music Now, KHP's website. They can certainly uh, click on that, uh, or Google Keep Moving by Summer Days. Uh, they can buy it online. They can go to my website, summerdaysband.com, summerdaysband.com, send me an email. I, I have yet to load it up where you can buy it off mine, but they could do that. Send me an email, and I'll, I'll get them a copy. Uh, we're going to end up putting it on iTunes and some of the rest of the places uh, as well. But, uh, that'll tell you where we're going to be at next and what we're going to be doing, and they tell you some information you don't want to know about it. So <laughs> take it all. <laughs> take it, there you go. And we'll also have links at grandstrandshow.com, folks. You can go to our website to get you to the Summer Days Band and, and find out more about the band and, and what all's going on there because it's on the move. I can tell you that uh, Something Fried is climbing the charts, still on the charts, working up the charts. It's just on the, it's everywhere there, man. So be looking for more music from the Summer Days Band, too. Keep on moving is the album. Something Fried, find it there. And that's Mitch Simpson with the Summer Days Band right there. Mitch, we thank you so much. Thank you, Darren, for the interview. We enjoyed it so much. This is Mitch for the Summer Days Band, and you're listening to Something Fried. Darren and Anita on Grand Strand. A music evolution.